Well, Mike, we're talking free agent signing. Free agency starts next week. So Sports Illustrated came up with a list of the worst free agent signings for last year. And then I want to top this off with some of the worst free agent signings in the NFL for all time. I have a great guess for the all time. Okay. Allow me one guess when we get to that portion. I will. Go ahead. Uh, as we're going to start off at number 10, Andrew Wiley, offensive tackle for the Commanders. Commanders paid him three years, $24 million. He was 29. He struggled to protect Sam Howell in the 15 starts last year, allowing not one, not two, not three, nine sacks. Yeah. It's disastrous. The only one that was probably worse was the Giants paying Kevin Glowinski. Guy got benched in like week six. He was so atrocious. If you can't start for the Giants on the O line, you're a real ass. At number nine, running back. Why, David? Because we don't pay running backs. Four years, twenty five point four million. Miles Sanders goes to the Carolina Panthers. We called it when it happened last year. Yeah, that was an atrocious signing. Miles Sanders wasn't even the starter in Philly. Boston Scott had shown more. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Gainwell had shown more. I never understood that move for Carolina. Ever. I didn't either, but Carolina wanted a playmate for Bryce Young, and they thought, what better you bring in Sanders? Is he's going to help you out because he can catch it out the backfield? We, we want to help Bryce Young. Cutscene. Why is Chuba Hubbard running the football? <laughs> Go ahead. At number eight, David, what's the position that I don't want to pay? Wide receiver. Three years, $25.5 million, Juju Smith-Schuster. Wide receiver, New England Patriots. See, this is another one we talk about, right? Like, And we're going to get plenty of things wrong. But some of this stuff is so obvious when a player is done. Juju was done. It, if you can't flourish in Kansas City, you're done. Mm -hmm. Like, that's... It was such a dumb move. But New England was desperate. Belichick was trying one last time to win, and I just need a name. I can fix him. No, you can't. <laughs> Trust me, you can't. At seven, offensive guard, Nate Davis for the Chicago Bears. Uh, Three-year, $30 million oh. deal. Oh, my. They brought him in to invest in the offensive line to protect Justin Field, but he had a rough first year due to injuries and inconsistent performance. It's a good thing they got $100 million cap space because, boy, howdy, they got a lot of work to do on the O-line specifically. At number six, right here, $3 million, 30, I mean, thir three-year, $33 million deal. Cameron Sutton, cornerback, Detroit Lions. I have a bit of an issue. I do as well, but go ahead. I just think it's unfair. The man was not brought here to be the number one corner. The partner in crime blows his knee out four plays into returning. I, I don't know, Rico. I, hey, I'm not telling you he had a great year or a good year, but he was miscast as a lead corner. I still have faith Cam Sutton's going to be good if we bring in a real lead corner. He's actually one of two people who I have a problem with this. Not my list, it's Sports Illustrated's list, but yes. Okay. For him to come in and be the number two corner, I think that you would have got a great deal yeah. on him. But he got moved over to the number one. And it was bad. not his fault. He did his job. He didn't do it well at times, but he did his job. Mike Evans is still running. Yes, he is. But he comes in at number six. At number five, James Bradbury, corner, Philadelphia Eagles, three years, $38 million. It was dumb. It I mean, was. The reality is they got him from the Giants. He was on a bloated deal. You got the best out of him. I what? don't understand why you would pay him and extend him. And again, the, the the whole defense was bad, and they had Patricia calling plays. But yeah, Rico, that ended up being disastrous. That secondary was horrible. Yeah, one interception, struggled in coverage all year long. At number four, wide receiver. You're going to like this, Mike. Four-year, $44 million. Alan Lazard, New York Jets. I'll just leave it at that. Quarterback died four plays into the year. Now, let's be fair. But, again, this is the problem when you let a 40-year-old quarterback run your organization. For $11 million a year, he recorded 23 catches for 311 yards and year. one touchdown. Hey, he had a better Jets career than Galladay had as a Giant. Mm. I'm just saying. 
That may be foreshadowing, folks. Oh, come on. <laughs> At number three is uh, Draymond Jones, interior defensive line, Seattle Seahawks, three-year, $51.5 million. They needed run stoppers. It was area concern. However, Jones had only four and a half sacks, and Seattle defense got worse in 2023. Oh, and yesterday they just released both starting safeties, Jamal Adams and Quandre Diggs. Yes. Things are going great. At number two, which I think is number one, but it's number two, but I understand why number one is number one, but I disagree with. At number two, quarterback, Las Vegas Raiders, Jimmy Garoppolo. Three years, $72.7 million. I don't need to add anything. Yeah. It's a good thing he's good looking because I'll tell you, he can't play football. Yeah. (laughs) At least he's got an opportunity to do some like glove commercials or something. Maybe you get him on a broadcast. But yeah, at number one, worst free agent signing, Javon Hargrave, 49ers, interior defensive line, four-year, $84 million. I don't agree with it, but here's why. Because they said his productivity fell from when he was with the Eagles, and he's got that hefty price tag. He recorded seven sacks and 14 quarterback hits last season, but it wasn't what he had with the Eagles. No. But he makes a lot of money, and that's why. I could probably quibble with that one, and I would certainly I, – I do have a bit of an issue with Cam Sutton. I just think that's oh, being a bit unfair. Th- those were the two yeah. that I had a problem with. All now, right. all time, if we got time, David? Yes. All time. All, right, all time. Give me one guess. Albert Hainsworth. Albert Hainsworth. David, you got a guess? No. That's a pretty good one, though. Number one. Albert Hainsworth, seven-year, $100 million contract. He went from being one of the best players in the league, got paid, and said, you know what? I don't care. (laughs) He openly just stopped trying. Yep. Yeah, left the Titans. You thought, okay, this is going to be something. One minute he's stepping on Andre Girard's head. The next, he ain't even trying out there. Yeah, I do have a guess. (laughs) Nandi Asenwa. Nandi Eagles, 2010. Yeah. Yeah. David at number seven. He went from being awesome to terrible. Why? Different the scheme system. Didn't fit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Giants. Kenny Galladay. Yes. Giants. Kenny Galladay comes in. Mike, want to take a guess? I don't know, but they're going to put that contract on Dave Gettleman's grave. Number two. Oh. Number two. Four years. Seventy-two million dollars. Yeah, I remember when he was Golly. like, didn't he like opt out of the game? He was playing for the Lions, and all of a sudden, he just went to the locker room and just was like, yep, I'm not going to be here anymore. Adam Marchaletta, number three. Nick Foles, number four. Le'Veon Bell to the Jets, number five. I don't have an issue. I can't believe Adam Marchaletta got paid that much money. I forgot about that. And here's one for you, David. Antonio Brown to the Patriots, number nine. It would have worked. He yeah. lost his mind. <laughs> well, you kind of need your mind. Fair. That's actually, <laughs> I've heard that. That's actually true. Uh, and then some older ones. Andre Risen at number eight to the Browns. Alvin Harper to the Bucks. Yeah, that didn't make the list. Franco Harris going all the way back to 84. Seattle. Seattle. He went from a 1,000-yard rusher to they rushed for 170 yards <laughs> in eight games. One-yard rusher. Yeah. Wow. And C.J. Jackson to the Chargers is number six to round out the list. And the best part, he goes to the Chargers. He doesn't even start for $100 million. Goes back to New England. Mm-hmm. They just released him. How does J.C. Jackson go from being so good to out of the league? Two years. And he's young. Got rich. Got, yeah. Okay, uh, then. No, no. Here's the thing. Here's what I found out, Mike. Some guys really want to be in the NFL, and they don't think about life after. You want to get drafted. Some people want to wear the Hall of Fame jacket, so they work hard. Some people just want to make it in the league. Once you get the paycheck, I've achieved my goal. I'm done. I can pull an Albert Hainsworth. What else is there for me to do? I'm rich now. So, a little bit of editorial. Tremendous. That is your Blitz, 97.1.